Hey everyone, so in today's video, I thought I should document a yet another molt that's happening right now in my collection. So, as you saw in my video, um, two of my pokies have molted. Charlotte finally molted two days ago. I recorded the video. I just have to edit it and upload it on YouTube, which I'm going to be doing that very soon. And, now, I just got another one that's, oh, almost uh, finished right now. This is Daisy, the last Eudora Para Hibana female that I got from K-Man. And, uh, yeah, it looks like she's almost 95% out. You can see how beautiful she is. Look how dark compared uh, to her previous molt. Oh, there's the fangs. And yeah, she's just about done now. So she's probably going to stay on her back for an hour or two, groom herself off, and start to flip over and walk away from the molt. And that's when I'll try to take it out and try to sex it for you guys. So this is definitely confirmed female. It's pretty good to hear. And again, I, I just can't fathom that my... P. Smithy is actually a female on oh, my very first try, so that's considered very, very lucky. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I would assume she's probably right now, I would say a good five and a half, maybe six inches. Have to see that from her molt. But the fangs are really huge on it. Also just came back from the pet store because um, I have to buy Christmas presents you know, for my parents and stuff. So I stopped by at Angelo's store uh, to check up on that tea that I was supposed to get for Christmas. It's still available, so I'm going to be picking up this week. It's a wild caught female for $69, so anyone could take a crack on what I will eventually get. That'll be super. It's one that I had before. Actually, two. So it's a big hint. So tomorrow, I'm definitely going to record the tarantula feeding video 82. I just checked up my camera batteries are really low. So uh, definitely, tomorrow morning, you'll definitely see one. Now that I'm all done my exams, I'm free as a bird. And the, the two exams that I did went generally pretty well. I'm pretty confident that I did well in them. Nice. So anyways, that's pretty much it. So I uh, have to do some tutoring. A uh, student is coming over for um, math, so I'm going to help him. And when I come back, I'm going to take out the molt, show it off, uh, measure it, like I did on my chalk gold knee, and as well as to give you as an attempt of sexing it. So you know how to sex an LP. They're generally the same for other other teas, so I'm very very happy. <laughs> Molting week, that's for sure. And it just came back, and she's finally done. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's a good five and a half inches at least. Alright, so now I'm going to use um, shish kebab skewers to open up the admin area, as I showed you in the other videos. Oh yes, this mold came intact. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's female. Alright. So I'm hoping everyone can see this. There's the flap. Right over here. So definitely confirmed female. 
Now, <clears throat> I'm going to measure the molt and see how big she used to be. Okay, so I'm going to stretch the molt out as best as I can. Okay, so that's 12 centimeters. So that was probably around four and a half inches. Yeah, so five, five and a half is probably a good estimate. So overall, pretty good. I had especially a lot of molts happening this month. Yeah, so that's awesome to see. <laughs> Love it. So thanks everyone for watching this video. Hope it helps you in sexing your El Parahibana. And these are all the molds that I witnessed. The Enchromatis, the Choco Goldney, the PZB. Oh yeah, the, I forgot to add, forgot to add in this uh, Living Stony that molted. The LP. The P Fasciata. As well as the P Smithy. Yeah, just doing a little grooming there. You can see her folio stripe on the abdomen area, how prominent the outline is, and that's prominent in females. In males, uh, it's kind of very dark. All right, everyone, so uh, hope you like it, and tomorrow, do a new feeding video. It's been a long time.